Hi everyone, I'm Professor Katherine Hartland and I'm the supervising attorney for Florida Coastal School of Law's brand new business and entrepreneurial law clinic. Um, the clinic is the first of its kind in Florida. It's brand new this fall 2014, or last fall I should say, and the primary goal of the clinic is to assist and connect our students with entrepreneurs in the Northeast Florida community. Just to give you a little bit of background about the traditional life cycle of a law student. Traditionally, law students sit in their classrooms and learn a lot about the law. They ask questions, they study hard, they study even harder, and then they graduate. Which is all well and good, but the problem with this model of education is that after graduation, the law students or the new graduate sometimes feels a little bit of despair. Like we're out in the world and able to practice law, passing the bar and, and have that credential, but what next? How do you get started? Well, that's where experiential learning comes in. And this is not a new concept, but it's something that I think Florida Coastal really excels at. And it's students working with real clients to analyze real life problems handling actual emergencies that arise, and juggling a variety of clients and transactions at the same time, just like a practicing attorney would. So clinics aren't new to Florida Coastal. We've had clinics in the past already in immigration law, family law, criminal defense, disability, and in other mostly primarily litigation-focused areas for many, many years. However, all of the clinics required that clients be indigent or otherwise unable to pay for services. The Business and Entrepreneurial Law Clinic is breaking the traditional clinic mold in a couple of different ways. First of all, we're a transaction-based clinic, not a litigation clinic. So what that means is that the students are drafting documents for our clients and serving a function that they would not otherwise have without an attorney, but they do not go to court. The whole point of the clinic is to draft documents in a way that are clear and concise so that you avoid that litigation and your clients have that special contractual protection that they need. Clients also do not have to be indigent clients. They do not have to um, be able not to afford legal services, but what they do have to be, be is small businesses, startup businesses, and entrepreneurs who might have funds but would prefer not to allocate those funds at the beginning startup stage of, their, of building their business to hiring an attorney, which can be quite expensive. And that's where our law students come in. We are connecting our law students with the entrepreneurial ecosystem that's been developing and growing in Northeast Florida. And we're really excited about encouraging the, the ecosystem in Florida and helping with the, with helping our clients with their legal issues, and giving our students the opportunity to learn so many valuable skills that you just can't get sitting in a classroom. Okay. We've partnered with a lot of the entrepreneurial um, support network in Jacksonville. One of our favorite partners, um, and most recently, uh, who most recently celebrated their um, third year in existence was OneSpark. OneSpark is the world's largest crowdfunding festival, and it just happens to take place right here in Jacksonville. So our students actually spent the whole, almost the whole week last week downtown Jacksonville helping out our clients in a festival-like atmosphere and promoting their businesses and promoting the clinic. So we are really tied into a lot of these, these new startup businesses who are showing off their great ideas at OneSpark. Another one of our favorite community partners is Beaver Street Enterprises. This is an, a small business incubator, which has been in existence for I think about 10 years now, and it's in a somewhat impoverished area of Jacksonville, but it's really helped a lot of small businesses get started and get up on their feet, offering different services and advice helping them create their business plan and get financing and helping with their marketing and things like that. And that's where we come in offering help with their legal services. Another partner that we've really enjoyed working with is Startup Jacks. Startup Jacks has a monthly meeting that they bring in speakers from all different types of business areas to be of assistance to entrepreneurs in the community. 
and our law students attend these events. It's a great place to network and meet all the entrepreneurs in the community. We've gotten a lot of clients that way. So the students get to practice their networking skills. It's also a really fun event. There's always uh, beer and pizza for all the entrepreneurs. Um, the students love meeting up with them. And we've actually given some presentations there too. So our students can, can be the speakers and talk about different areas of law, different topics of legal interest to the community. A couple other um, community partners that we're working with are um, Jacksonville Chamber of Commerce, the Urban League, Startup Quest, we are, we're connecting with GAIN in Gainesville, and we're working on establishing these networks all over Northeast Florida. The benefit of the clinic to the students is just enormous. The students really gain a lot of confidence by working in the clinic. They're working on their professionalism. They're learning how to dress and behave professionally, how to make sure that they're communicating appropriately and sufficiently and clearly, especially with their clients. Um, interviewing and counseling their clients. I let the students do the interviews um, for the most part on their own or with a partner. Um, and I think that gives them a lot of confidence too. They're, of course, counseling with me every step of the way as their supervising attorney. Um, but, but they are really doing the work and being the face of their client. They also learn to analyze and solve problems to help their clients decide um, different areas of the law, what, what kind of protections they might need. They help their clients think of things that maybe the clients didn't think about, that they might need a little bit of protection, getting organized, and getting their businesses set up. And my favorite part is drafting. Of course, the students are learning so much, and it, it's amazing how much uh, more interested they are in learning how to draft these different types of contracts and how much they learn when they actually have a reason and a, a client that they're helping with the work that they're doing. It's very, very rewarding. And they're learning how to draft these documents so that they're easy to read, they're concise, they contain everything they need, they're protecting their client's interest, and they're going to avoid litigation. Okay. And of course, there are lots of benefits to the entrepreneurial ecosystem in the community. This picture is one of our a um, couple of our students at a one spark with, with one of our clients um, at one of our clients' events, Water Me Green, and they're they're posing with the clients. The, the client actually had some um, containers that grow hydroponic plants. So our students are helping out with that event. Um, all of our services that we provide in the clinic are free of charge. The students are carefully selected. It's kind of an elite group. Um, you don't have, you do go through an interview process. There's no real set requirement of what you have to have demonstrated to be chosen to be in the clinic, but you do have to have demonstrated an interest in business law. And so some of the things I'm looking for are the coursework that you've um, taken already or that you plan to take. Um, some students have actually gotten an MBA or they're getting one at the same time, although that is not a requirement. Um, or, and some students have actually started up their own businesses in the past or are thinking about that or are thinking about maybe starting their own law firms as a business. Um, in addition to the, the work that the students do with the clients, there's a classroom component to the clinic where the students attend class and we talk about different topics that are relevant to the client's issues such as selecting that entity for your business and how to, how to advise your client on which which entity would be the best, drafting documents that go along with that, like operating agreements, bylaws, shareholders agreements, and then taking it a step further, um, drafting any other documents that the clients might need, maybe helping them with intellectual property. Um, so we're learning, we're covering a lot of different areas of the law in a condensed form that is going to be helpful to the students in actually doing the work. And finally, of course, all of the students' work is reviewed by a licensed attorney, licensed in the state of Florida, um, who supervises them every step of the way. And that could be me, or it could be an adjunct working in conjunction with me um, in the clinic. Some of the things that our students are doing for the startup businesses include performing a legal checkup just to see what kind of legal needs the client may have. A lot of times entrepreneurs are so excited about starting up their business that they really don't give the legal part, side of things a second chance. So it's really helpful to have our students meet with them and talk to them about different things they should be thinking about, even if they've 
for example, filed their articles of organization as an LLC, they need to think about what kind of corporate formalities or, or limited liability company formalities they need to be keeping up with so that they can maintain their limited liability status. Um, of course, students are reviewing documents and preparing documents uh, for their clients. We're selecting business entities. We're setting up not-for-profits and making sure they get their tax-free status. We're helping protect intellectual property with trademark research, um, copyright research, license review, and click wrap agreements. We are reviewing leases. We're preparing employment contracts, non-competes, non-disclosures, confidentiality agreements. Um, we can review loan agreements and notes and preparing service agreements or vendor supplier agreements. So how it works is students are selected by interviewing um, so it's a, there is a process that you have to go through to be chosen for the business clinic. Uh, but of course, the main thing is that you've demonstrated an interest in business law some way, and it can be, it's very flexible. You, there's no set um, set of courses that you have to have taken, uh, but just any kind of demonstrated interest in this area of the law is essential. Um, the classroom component, as I already mentioned, covers all of the topics that, that you might need. Um, and sometimes some clients will have interests that are different than others, so our classroom is a little bit flexible. We can talk about things that are important to the current clients that we have, and we can move topics around a little bit, and we do that sometimes. When students begin to work in the clinic, they're assigned one or more new clients. Sometimes they'll get one client, and then a few, few weeks later, they'll get a new client. They actually do the, the interview of the client, and find out exactly what the client needs. They'll prepare a retainer agreement for the client, and then they'll discuss the, the needs with the supervising attorney, and then finally they'll draft the documents. And the document drafting can go through several, several rounds of drafting and revisions before we get it right, um, but it's very similar to what uh, students, what the actual students would experience in a law firm if they were working for, for a senior partner reviewing their documents. Finally, we do give a lot of presentations and we do a lot of networking with our community partners. So we're out in the community on a weekly basis almost, um, meeting new entrepreneurs in the community and getting the word out about the clinic so that we never have a lack of, of work, interesting work to do in the clinic. If you have any questions, I'd be really happy to talk to you. You just have to send me a quick email. That's the best way to reach me, um, kheartland at fcsl.edu. And I hope to see a lot of you sometime in the future in the Business and Entrepreneurial Law Clinic. Thank you.